got her toughest task here today, though. First true road game for Eastern Kentucky this season at the Summit. It's Lady Vols in Colonels. Right from the start, trying to find Tamari Key in an early whistle in the paint. Quick entry looking for Key. Didn't know it was coming, but Tennessee able to recollect it. Almost an early turnover. Here's Horston, top of the key, banks it in. This is where Greg Todd turns to his starting five here in Knoxville. A lot of similarities spearheaded again by Mari Walker. Walker now from the free throw line off the mark, her first attempt. Orson wants to run quickly. Look at the entry feed to Rakia Jackson. There's that double duo. You know, Coach Harper likes seeing her team get off to a hot start offensively. Tennessee, a quick 5-0 start. Colonels, they're just looking to get settled in. Mentioned this is their first true road game of the season. Not too many tougher environments out there than Knoxville Thompson Bowling Arena. Great feed that time on the dish from Reconati and finds Bridget Fox for two. Tennessee moving quickly. Horston from the right wing. Money. Right out of the gates. Tennessee is flying. Horston and Jackson making moves early. And a turnover on the other end. I was going to say, you said tall task, and it's because <laughs> of Tennessee's of height. <laughs> Orson in the paint. Tennessee trying to utilize that height. Tamari Key, three tries is the charm. <laughs> Recadani, nice move behind the back. Silky smooth, Jay. Reconati, redshirt sophomore guard out of Italy, has been so good in three seasons in Richmond, Kentucky. Tamari Key inside, making it look easy. Back-to-back -back buckets for her. There's Coach Harper, her fourth season as a Lady Volunteer head coach. Her 98th game already coming off a season last year in which her squad won 25 wins most in her head coaching career. So much to build upon. You don't lose a lot of players. You bring in such a talented crop from the portal. Reconati. Mari Walker looking to get in the score sheet. There it is. How do you limit her? You can't really stop her. And you said, she said that, you know, you just have to play one-on-one -on -one really well with her and maybe since we do have the height step back and put a hand up and try to block some of those shots shooting 54 percent they've made seven of their first 13 shots board on the other end jackson quickly jordan walker wanting to run inside and draws contact she'll shoot two Tennessee, a fantastic start to this Sunday. The last four games, Tennessee, they've held their opponents to under 40% shooting. Eastern Kentucky off to a pretty good start from the floor, 43%. Tennessee missed a pair of field goal or free throws. They're able to get possession back. Here's a three from Sarah. Pocket buckets. Open out beyond the arc. Sarah Puckett got that nickname Buckets last year. Knocked down from three, 23 of them a season ago. Third on the team, driving the other way. Really nice finish. It's somebody that he's really seeing start to figure things out with how they run things, and he's really impressed with her. Big time offensive board, Jasmine Franklin. She takes it up strong. Able to reunite with her freshman year coach. A light press there from the Colonels. On the perimeter, Marta Suarez lets one fly. Kirkwood, right to the paint, can't finish. Walker the other way, left wide open, another three for Tennessee. Thomas for the battle for Atlantis against a good UCLA team, lost to a really competitive Gonzaga crew as well. So it feels like maybe just now you're starting to get a sense of, okay, we could take a deep breath again. Yeah, she said it's really 
and it almost feels like chapters that they've been yeah. going in and just stretches in. They have the game today, and then they have a week to prepare for Virginia Tech, and so they kind of get to breathe in that little bit after they've just had a very, very tough schedule to start the season. Lillian Hollingshed looks to be... Shot clock is off, so Tennessee can hold for the last shot. Passat fires from the left wing. Right way, go ahead. That's why I'm not a coach. They are shooting 60% <laughs> right now from behind the arc. Reconati right before the hole. You're right. It, it was the turnovers, the one thing that was like, you know, our offense wasn't as clean as we still want it to be. They had season-high 29 turnovers game one against Ohio State, 22 on Friday against Colorado. Always a work in progress. Hollingshed, versatile drive. Your game a little bit more open up lanes like that one. Kia Jackson right back in, immediately throws one up. Tamari Key says it's my ball. The arc for Eastern Kentucky. Other way though, Horston coughs it up. Reconati all alone. But they don't use it based on their height. They have to box out at an extra measure than other teams do. Rainey, a little runner in the lane. Soft kiss off the rim. And Yo Rainey gets another bucket. Four points for her. She's played in this building before. Three years with Florida. And too easy again. Yeah, she was a contributor for, for that Florida team, but battled a lot of injuries. And now in her seventh season of playing college ball. A lot of experience for Rainey. There's a three. It's Allie Collette. She's also played in this building with Western Kentucky. She transferred over last year from the Hilltoppers. Inside, Tamari Key with two honors. Key is making it look easy right now. Open, Ariel Kirkwood back-to-back -back threes. Get them behind the arc, and he feels really confident in them knocking down those shots. Right back again to Tamari Key. She is making it look easy the other way. Powell right to the rim. No, Horston tips it back up and in. You about saw it just then. Swatted from Tamari Key. She's got defense in her arsenal as well. Horston the other way. Wow, tennis. We asked Coach Harper if she was, was healthy today. I mean, you just had to look back at the game footage from Friday. She almost dunked the ball in that win against Colorado. I really thought she was going to do it again down there at the <laughs> other end. Kirkwood, nice feed to Walker, but Jordan Horston came flying in for the block. Other way. You could see the communication really improve right there, really getting some good ball movement, just could not finish. What a post finish. She buys another bucket. She's got 10 now. Three Lady Vols in double figures already in the second quarter. Direction of this Colonel offense. Another deep three for the Colonels. No good from Lacey. Offensive board. Hacker again. Yes. Offensive boards are something that the Colonels are really good at doing. They average 14 a game and something that Coach Harper noted before the game is. 28 to 12. Dominating figure there. Stripling right off the entry pass. Yes. World of SEC Sports laid back interviews. Lots of laughs and laying signature passion for finding the best food SEC has to offer. Close to double figures again. Other way. Jordan Walker. Great take. Her fifth points of this ball game. Everyone getting in on the fun. to Walker. They're giving her that free throw line shot and she nails it. Walker's got 10 again. Make it now seven straight games that Walker has been in double figures. Inside Striplett. Caroline I'll let a drive. Really good maneuver but can't get the finish. What a toss from Walker, and what a finish from Strickland. Back at Thompson Bowling Arena, six games in a row. This is number two for him, as he'll get to stay here for a good little chunk of time. Quickly, all ready to open the half. A little spin move from Rakia Jackson. Very nice offensive execution right there. 
Tennessee is pulling out some higher light real plays. That was a really good look from Jackson. She's already got 12, team high. Other way off the top of the backboard, Dave. Here's Tamari Key, and she connects again. And Coach Harper said that Perkia kind of gives them a little bit for what they lost with Di from last year. Where she stands at. I mean, almost three blocks per game for a career not too bad. The 6'6", Tamari Key. One of the best in the nation at the shot block. One of the best defenders in the nation. It's really hard to stop. I mean, whenever you're matching up with that size, it's, it's going to be hard to, to stop her and try to limit her. But 13 points today so far. Really good game for Key. Rekadani, a really nice finish for the redshirt soft lead that Tennessee has grown. Orston no good. Another strong board. Tess Darby this time. Eastern Kentucky all game has 15 rebounds. The balls have done good in that category, and they've protected the ball. Just eight turnovers. Orston in the paint. Will spin herself. Smooth finish. Tennessee on a 12-2 run here, middle of the third. Picking right back up where they left off first half. Mari Walker at Eastern Kentucky where Samantha Williams, Tennessee assistant coach, was for two years prior before joining Kelly Harper and her staff here at Tennessee. So two most recent coaches of the Colonels are both in this building. And I'm sure that's got to be just mixed. And then now to be on the other side, that's got to be a weird feeling. And she did incredible things at EKU. She had the fastest comeback in the nation. Tennessee by 32. Here's Sarah Puckett. Again, from distance. Good rebound on the other end for Sarah Puckett. Quickly the other way. Marta Suarez to the rim. And Walker the other way for Tennessee. Somehow winds right back up in her hands. Jillian Hollingshed. And how about the job Jillian Hollingshed has done in this game? As an and one on the other end for Eastern Kentucky. Five inside. Hollingshed left her feet. Reconati blocks. Sarah Puckett. And that's the shot clock. A little confusion as that ball was still loose. The shot clock must have been reset. The horn still went off. Five different leaders in the category in five different games. So it's a team that they have a lot of people that can go up and get it, but it's what Coach Harper said. you got to show that effort and be aggressive. Tennessee's done that today. Three right out of the break. Start the fourth quarter. He's off the mark. Orston cross court. Passat the pass is picked off. Way Reconati so good at that defensively. Six in the A Sun last year in total steals per game. Now she'll take a three on the other end. Got it. And they did not even see her get the steal that puts up the points. Passat no good. Rakia Jackson two offensive board. She catches in an and one opportunity. Take another look at that foul. You could see it looks like maybe got a hand on the wrist there. A grab as she was trying to put the bucket up. Charper likely pleased by this performance. I'm sure she's going to say that at the end of the game. You know, what what, what is needed in this fourth quarter to, to say, all right, we're clearly just two weeks in. And oh, Brooklyn Miles, a little contact in one. Just where the score is at at this point. You feel comfortable about where you are in terms of getting a win here today. A good chance to, one, as we mentioned, continuing to work on those things. But, two, you can give some of these players who may be sitting at about 10 minutes per game in a normal game, give them some more action, give them some more work, more experience. Absolutely. And before that last break, you were asking me, she's going to point out to her team and say, hey, you can't stop playing. you got to continue to play. Don't just assume that it's going out of bounds. And you've seen that happen with a couple of the rebounds. They're still definitely out-rebounding Eastern Kentucky. But keep playing. Knoxville, Brooklyn Miles, Euro stepping. 
Loose ball. Hollingshed is there. An Eastern Kentucky team averaging 78 points per game. Certainly one of the tougher defenses they've had to go head to head with. Boils down to it. That's discipline, though. And you know that's a turnover that coach will not be too happy with. A lot to build on, though, for Greg Todd and his group. Mentioning again, just being in that Atlantic Sun, you don't play for an at-large bid. I mean, a win against Tennessee obviously is program defining. You're knocking off a top 25 team, but it's not going to necessarily get you in the NCAA tournament. You're trying to get your group ready for your conference play so that you can survive that, win the tournament, and that's how you get a ticket to the NCAA field. Here's Miles for Tennessee. A drive, a finish. She's got four on two of five shooting. Brings a lot of quickness off the bench. Do-it-all guard that Kelly Harper has at her disposal. Feed in in a nice finish. Win against Colorado up to 13 here. Here's Kaya Win off the mark. Jillian Hollingshed just snatched it in a minute. What a game it's been for Jillian Hollingshed. A career afternoon, 13 points. Six of seven shooting, and Tennessee's hit triple digits. As they've been playing offensively, I think has been the big key for them today in putting up those triple digits. Not 60 rebounds when they were averaging 48.2 last season, which was best in the nation. So to get 60 of those today. Greg Todd and his group will fall to four and three. Be back in action next Friday on the road for the I-75 Challenge against Miami, Ohio. But Tennessee, they'll get to enjoy this one for a week's time. A lot to build on before the Hokies come into town next Sunday. As mentioned, just a do-it-all performance for Tennessee. Enjoying this homestand across Thanksgiving weekend. Again, Tennessee gets the job done.